In this tutorial, we'll show you how easy it is to zoom in and pan around on images using Image Pro Insight. So here we see a large image opened in our main image workspace. And uh, the first way to zoom in on an image, and I think one of the easiest ways, is to just use the wheel on your mouse. So I'll just go into the center of the image and use my wheel, and you can zoom in really close and get a good look at a detailed portion of the image. Now while we're zoomed in here, if we wanted to, we could also easily navigate around uh, in that image using the image strip on the left. And um, the image strip is just a way to display all of the images that are opened in your current workspace. So you can see on our image strip we have the active image has some shaded area and a little square in the middle that's a bit brighter than the rest and that square actually matches up with the main workspace that we're zoomed in on here. So if we wanted to we could click on that square and move that around with our mouse to navigate to different areas on the image. And you could zoom out with your mouse as well and continue to navigate with a bit of a larger box there in the image strip. So that's certainly one easy way to zoom in on your images. Another easy way is to use uh, the zoom here on the bottom right. We just clicked on that uh, button and now we're able to pick the magnification that we want to zoom in on. So we'll choose 200%, 100%, um, lots of different options there. And then right next to it is a slider bar that allows you to also move in and out on the image. And if that wasn't enough, we have a couple other ways to zoom in on an image. Go into our image tab here. You can see we have the traditional zoom tool available. So if you click on that button, you can zoom in. You can also click on the pan button and grab that image and move around. Now often what people want to do when they're looking at images is actually compare two images side by side and have them zoomed simultaneously. So we'll show you how you can do that. Here we'll open two images. We have a green image and a red image. We'll click on the tab for that red image, move it to the right, and click on the green tab. Okay, so now we have the two images side by side, but you can see if we zoom in on the green image, we're only zooming in on that image, and the red image is staying on its own. So what we can do is click on both of those images in the image strip, and once they're selected, we'll click on this lock button that shows up when we hover over it. Now those images are locked. Once we zoom in, and if we chose to pan, the images would move together as well. If you have any questions, please contact your local dealer or your Media Cybernetics representative.